the library is open because reading is what? Fundamental. Yeah, hi there, you guys. <laughs> So in this video here today, I'm going to tell you about five of my favorite wrestling related books that I own. Again, as you guys might already know, I am not good with top five, top ten, top whatever, because I'm a Libra and I hate making decisions and I hate prioritizing things. So whenever I do like a top five video, I just say in no particular order. And this is exactly what I'm doing right now. But yeah, anyway, I love wrestling, I love reading, I like looking at pictures in books. So as a consequence, I own some books that have to do with wrestling. And in this video, of course, I won't be talking about all of them because that would be too long, but I just reluctantly picked five of my favorites and I'm going to tell you guys about them. Number one is this book called My Favorite Match. And oh, one more thing, you guys, I read paper books mostly. For some reason I can't really get through a book when it's like on a screen. I kind of do it the old-fashioned way and I don't really like audiobooks because I just myself as a person am a very visual individual so to kind of absorb information and to be able to like concentrate I need to look at something. So audiobooks are not my thing. If they are your thing, good for you, just not me. Yeah, anyway, it's called My Favorite Match and it's a compilation of stories that wrestlers told about their favorite matches that they'd had. And it's written by John Robinson, who is a journalist for ESPN. And for me, this book is kind of special because I also bought it in New York during my first trip to America ever. And it was consequentially one of the first wrestling related books that I ever read. And to me, it's always exciting to hear stories from like the inside of the industry. Like what does a person feel when they're in this ring? And there's no better way to find out than to read stories written from like the first person, the actual wrestler telling the story. And one more special thing about this book for me personally was the quite unusual selection of wrestlers who have participated. And somehow this book has stories from like almost all of my all-time favorite wrestlers from WWE. It has The Miz, it has Dolph Ziggler, it has Cody Rhodes, who is of course now not a WWE wrestler, but anyway, it has Wade Barrett and it has Alex Riley. Like, what has Alex Riley? Other than my vivid fangirling stage from 2012. Alex Riley is in nothing but my 15-year-old self's fanfiction. Yet his story is in this book. Every time you pick up a book about WWE that's not written by a WWE wrestler, it's like, I don't know, Triple H, Hulk Hogan, Bret Hart, John Cena, but not Miz, not Ziggler, not Alex Riley, God forbid. But again, of course, it does have stories from legends such as Sergeant Slaughter, such as Roddy Piper, such as Shawn Michaels. So yeah, for me, it was a very fun read. And as I said, I read it when I was like a teenager. So it left a lasting impression, but I still feel like it's like one of my favorite wrestling books and I strongly advise that you read it if you haven't already. This next one is absolutely ridiculous in the best way possible. You know how there's this tag team called Authors of Pain in WWE? Well, Pain! It's a book called Pain. It says that it's written by Akam and Rizar, which I strongly doubt. Pain. And I still have no idea whether it has any connection with WWE whatsoever. Like, of course, WWE has been funny and WWE has done some great humorous things, but I just can't imagine WWE doing something so outrageous. And I got this on Amazon and it has this like ridiculous fake reviews. It has like six stars from Dave Meltzer and it has this like review from Neil Gaiman himself, which is obviously fake. <laughs> The first collection of poetry from NXT Tag Team Champions, yes, that's from the NXT Times, and this book was released in 2019. Pain gives you the front row seat into the lyrical genius of Akam and Rizar, and it has this like ridiculous poetry about like the most hilarious things, about like their vests with pockets, about like their wrestling boots, about American Alpha, which was again also the tag team in NXT, obviously. There's a haiku. Like, if you don't want to buy the paperback copy, though I cannot imagine a wrestling fan who doesn't want to have this, like, just on their shelf at least, there's an ebook copy. I cannot 
begin to tell you how completely ridiculous this is. There's this poetry called Virginia Woolf had a great finisher. There's a poem about slapping your thighs in the ring and it's about DIY. <laughs> Let me quote it to you. DIY, oh DIY, why do you slap your legs all the time? When you walk down the aisle and enter the ring, from start to finish and every little thing, did a bug bite you or is an itch right there? Your leg falling asleep or is an ingrown hair? You look silly in your little tights. Showing no real emotion in any of your fights. I cannot imagine WWE giving green light to anything like that, but you need to check it out, like I'm telling you. This is above and beyond ridiculous. Okay, this next one, it's called I Can Make Out With Any Girl Here, and it's written by Ryan Nemeth, who is a former wrestler, writer, stand-up comedian, and Dolph Ziggler's brother. It's not directly connected to wrestling, but since it's written by a wrestler, I felt the need to include it, and as you can see, Mine is autographed and I bought it when it was first released, but I had to read it later, like a, a year later, because I feel like my English back when it released wasn't good enough to grasp it. It was released in 2010, I think, and again, I had to wait to read it because it's like a humorous book. It's about a freshman who just got into college and who is trying to navigate his way through life. And if you're not a native English speaker, you'll have a bit of a trouble <laughs> with that because it has a very subtle, kind of very low-key humor to it. But once you've kind of reached the, I don't know, upper intermediate level, you'll get it and you'll enjoy it very much. And also I'd like to mention that Ryan Nemeth is right now in the process of making a movie called Heal and it's about the vices of professional wrestling industry and I'll leave all the links to all the info about the movie in the video description down below. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I think this book is kind of R-rated. Like, don't give this to your kid. On the topic of kids, my next pick is obviously a kid's book. It's called WWE Ultimate Superstar Guide and it was released in 2015, I think, and it's not a book as much as it's kind of a catalog, but it has the 2015 roster plus legends with beautiful illustrations and with some info on them. And again, I just so happened to open it on the page that has Alex Riley. To me, it has a very nostalgic feel because even though it includes legends, it still has the roster of those times. And again, it's from when all of my favorite WWE wrestlers were still in the company. But yeah, and I really love the style of the illustrations. On the contrary to what I said about the previous book that I shown you, if you have a kid who is into wrestling, this is a great thing. To give them. <laughs> or again, if you're an adult who is very nostalgic about WWE and the way it was in the beginning slash middle of 2010s, this is something to like keep, something to have. And the last but not least, this is Spotfest. And it's not a book in a sense, it's a magazine. And it's the first print magazine about wrestling in the history of Russia. <laughs> so this is more for my Russian-speaking fellows, but this is a piece of history right here in my hand, and I think they've had three issues so far, and this is the second one in my hand right here, but like how surreal is that? Like guys, can you imagine that in Russia it's the first ever print magazine about wrestling? I included into the video about books because it's it looks like a book, it reads like a book, it's more like a book. But it's a compilation of articles, interviews, like think pieces. I have here the second issue for a specific reason. And that specific reason is because an article that I wrote is in the magazine. It's called All or Nothing, the start of a new era. <laughs> I know that's very pompous, but I felt this way. If you're one of the Russian speaking viewers of mine while watching this with Russian subtitles. I will leave all the links to check out Spotfest down below in the video description. Please check it out, please support Russian media surrounding wrestling because we are sparse, there's not a lot of us. It's an amazing historic step for the development of wrestling in Russia, the first print magazine in history. And here you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you noted some recommendations. And if you guys did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, write a comment, and find me on my social media. I will leave all the links in the video description down below. And take care. Goodbye.